Hi all, in this video, I'm going to explain about this new vulnerability, which is found recently on 27 December. And I'm going to explain this vulnerability with the help of this diagram. And after onwards, I will discuss how we can fix it. This Apache log 4J vulnerability is around the remote code execution attack where an attacker with permission to modify the logging conversion file can construct a malicious configuration using a JDBC appender. Basically, JDBC appender is a part of your log4j configuration. So before going to deep dive into this vulnerability, let's let's little bit discuss about the RCE, basically remote code execution attack. So basically, this attack is the ability to an attacker has to access someone else's computer device and make changes no matter where the device is geographically located. Right. So basically, we are somewhere the attacker can access a machine and then invoke some method around that, that machine. Right. So I'm going to explain about this vulnerability with the help of this diagram. So I'm just telling about that. First, this attacker, and there is a one. Second thing is that file storage, where mostly all the configuration is present. And this is our main application where that our application is running. And this is a malicious LDAP server. So basically, this attacker created a, this malicious a malicious LDAP server. And this attacker, what it did that, he created one class file on that machine. And then objective of that machine, that class is to invoke the MS Paint object. So this code is recent, uh, is basically present on the malicious LDAP servers. So as we mostly aware about the date, how we can create a JDBC appender inside a log4j. So here, what the attacker is doing is attacker is basically putting the LDAP URL in this chain DNA. So basically it should contain the proper data source name, but here this attacker is put at this LDAP URL. And then what, because this attacker is somewhere a middleman. So somewhere that has some level of permission. So just like that, we have a lot of product in a company and then that someone is managing one of the product, but somewhere it's had that file storage permission like that. So what he's doing now is just uploading this, modifying this log4j into the file storage service because that's at some very level of uh, permission. Second thing is that second step in the second step, what is the application server where we have that all our applications running and it also re always required the log4j. So what is doing this call calling to this file storage and getting the updated log4j information. When it getting the uh, updated log4j permission, that point of time, it was just invoking this GDBC data source because that configuration is present here. So in this space, it is calling to LDAP server because the GDI name is there. It's calling to LDAP server to request to get this information from that. When invoking that, what is returning in the response? It is returning this this uh, serialization part of this particular class. Then what happened? This part is moving from here to there to the application service. Now application service server has this deserialize method. And when it's invoking this class, because that somewhere is a part of static method. So what happened when it's load that class, then it will automatically, this will invoke. Then when this will invoke, what happened that? Then in that case, this, will command run and in invoke the method or MS Paint on that device. And it will pop up this MS Paint object. 
So this somewhere is RC, basically remote code execution thing. What happened is attacker is able, capable to open the MS Paint and it can access anything. And it execute the, what you want, basically. Now, this is basically the recent vulnerability inside this log4j 2.17.0. But what happened that log 4 a team introduced a new fix 2.17.1. So let's look what they modify around that new log 4 g 2.17.1. I already just searched the change set. So in this, here. Yeah. So as we can see, before the fix, the lookup of the data source was made directly with the initial context. So you can see here, this is the initial context they are calling before. Now they introduce this, the wrapper over that. So in this version 2.17.1, the lookup uses the log 4G GND wrapper and then disable the lookup. A new log 4G, to enable JNDI GDBC system properties was added to enable to this functionality. So they also added one more parameter by that we can, if you look this code, right, it's checking something and if it is there, then it's saying like this. If it is false or true, based on that, it is just returning these things from here. Right, so basically what they modify before they are lookup methodologies directly calling this and try to search whatever that. But now what happened? They created one wrapper over there and then it is specific to DB things, database sources. And they pass this thing inside this 2.17.1. And to up, if you want to fix that, so we need to update our log4j version 2.17.1.